Good day everybody, this is Sheriff Sean from the Namibian Marshall Rangers. Uh, we work also with Ministry of Environment and Tourism for Conservation. What we have here today is a little tortoise that uh, obviously strayed into somebody's house, into their yard, and uh, the dog got hold of it, so it's been bitten. Uh, due to the fact that it's still small, the shell is still very soft. So um, he's been injured, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clean him up to see what the extent of the damage is. And what I've already noticed is when he walks, he's dragging his back legs, his hind legs, you see? So he already, he's definitely, his nervous system or something has been affected. And this left leg seems like it doesn't want to cooperate at all. Come here. Don't worry about that. Come. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first clean him up and see the extent of the damage on the shell. And I, I, I can't see any bleeding here or on the sides. So I think obviously something has just been hurt. It's not like he is totally, totally lame in the left leg. It does work. Uh, just not cooperating properly, so he's kind of dragging himself along. So normally what we do is when we catch tortoises, we have seven species of tortoise in Namibia. Normally what we do is when we do catch them, we release them back in nature. But this is now an injured one, and uh, I'm going to first see if I can help her and monitor it and uh, but there's nothing actually we can do there's no operation we can do or cutting or anything so for now all we can do is treat clean and observe all right so we have seven species of tortoise in namibia and uh, this one is more of the common one that we find all over namibia i just released a big one you can also see the video on youtube uh, of the big one we released. You see how he's dragging his back hind legs there. Come, let's not worry. Let's give a better view there for it. Okay, come. Come on, little one. You see? Totally dragging his hind legs. So he's definitely been hurt very badly internally. Okay, unfortunately, as I said, because he has a shell in that, it's not like you can do much about it. So we can just hope that he does recover. Um, I'm not going to do much on it. See, I have a very big medical kit just for it. I, I'm using a alcohol pad, so just so that I can clean off the blood that is on him. As you can see, I work sterile with the animal, so that uh, no infection, like you would do with humans, so that you have no infection because you don't want um, any dirt or infections going in there let me just hold it with a cloth so that my other hand does not the blood's unfortunately already a lot dry um, I don't want to push too hard in case of the soft shell but it does seem that he's been bitten through over here and there's shell damage which could be be uh, pushing against his flesh and internal organs so I'm going to have to observe that and if it does heal and he does grow that that doesn't grow into his body so I'm gonna have to monitor that to make sure that it's going to be all right a little bit of water here just to get the blood dampened this is what we do as martial rangers we serve and protect. We serve the nation, we serve the people, and we serve the animals. And we're here to make sure that they're all safe and everybody's taken care of. Yeah, we look like we have some insides sticking out, portraying here on his body, uh, on the shell. So he has been, it could be like a fat, a fat excerpt. Um, I'm going to have to seriously monitor this because I don't want him to have any internal bleeding. But he doesn't seem to be bleeding right now. He doesn't seem to be uh, bleeding anywhere else. He's pretty peaceful, but he's obviously in a lot of pain. 
but uh, let me just have a look shame man yeah the shell is broken and he's it's actually trapped the the um, fat over there or of his body tissue unfortunately I can do nothing about that um, I can only hope that he heals and recovers from that but as I said I must try and make sure that the shell does not grow into his flesh as you can see it's broken out there should I see it get worse and an infection I'm going to have to surgically just remove these shell tissue so that the skin itself and everything can heal and uh, we save its life so um, let's hope he's going to be fine I will keep you updated on a later time but for now all we can do is clean and observe this is the Namib Cowboy, Sheriff Marshal of the Namibian Marshal Rangers. Take care of uh, your wildlife and um, please, if you do find such critters we, or such animals, we advise you to phone the Ministry of Environment and Tourism and uh, people like me who will come and remove it. It is illegal to keep them without permits, so don't even think of keeping them in your yards. These are wildlife, they are protected species. Blessings.